We just left Lower Sabi. We're gonna go up and have a breakfast today in Glozi. I just want to take this perfect frame shot of me to apologize for the bad sound quality. We did have some technical issues. It's very early. It's our last full day in the Kruger. And I have a very good feeling about today. Myself and Alana, we're gonna have a little competition called Who can see the most invaded animal today? And we at last got our accommodation or our last night we're sleeping at the Riverview tent camps and we're so happy because the last time we booked those specific units the our lower Salvi camp actually closed because of COVID so we were here we didn't know we got to the camp and it was just closed so we had to get alternative accommodation so yeah let's see who can get the most endangered species or who can spot the most endangered species and the loser must give the other one a nice half an hour foot massage on the deck of the riverview unit thank you for joining We had a quick breakfast at the Mlondozi picnic spot about 20 kilometers north of Lower Sabi. Mlondozi is located at the top of a hill with scenic views of the Mlondozi river and dam and the wide plains below. Well unfortunately we haven't seen much today except for a buffalo. <laughs> Speaking of, we found this herd just as we left the picnic spot.
we just booked in at our Riverview Safari tent here at Lowasabi. And I have to say that we got the best unit. We actually got unit 16. I don't know if you can choose a unit when you book, but we've, we've seen this unit before. We've been here visiting friends and we actually saw this unit and thought this is definitely the best one. It's, it's on the corner of the camp. It's right next to the fence. It almost feels like in a way you are sitting inside of the Kruger. You've got a panoramic view of the Sabi River as well. So, yeah, it's that hot time of the day. We're going to chill here for an hour and then we're going to go for a last drive. Not the best day in terms of wildlife. We did manage to see a pill spotted owlet for the second time on the strip, about 100 meters away from the lower Sabi gate. So that so far has been the highlight of the day. But I've got a good feeling about this last drive, but we're definitely going to come back early and just sit here and make a fire and enjoy the view. Luck was not on our side when it came to the endangered species competition, so it was considered a draw. According to the Bird Pro app, I got a tawny eagle and Alana got these white back vultures. Good morning, so we woke up quite early this morning, we heard lions throughout the night, elephants crossing the river, a lot of wildlife activity. One of the great things about these tented camps is they've got a mesh sliding door which you can close at night, which of course keeps all the bugs out, but you can still listen to all the noises during the night. So yeah, we got up early, we uh, drank some coffee on the patio of the unit. We saw so many animals just from sitting on the porch with the coffee, so very peaceful. We had a quick breakfast at Mug and Bean, and we're on our way down to Crocodile Bridge. We're leaving the park today, so <clears throat> we'll see when we get at Crocodile Bridge, but we might just take the S25 again, which we did um, start this trip with and had a lot of success on that road. 
so yeah yesterday not a great day it would be good if we can get a last nice sighting before we leave the park For those of you who are wondering, the wart-like lesions covering this poor giraffe is caused by a virus called papillomavirus. It is thought to be spread from giraffe to giraffe by oxpecker birds who feed on the giraffe's ticks. We made it to Crocodile Bridge. But we didn't get that one last big sighting that we were looking for. So we decided to give the S25 one more chance. And man, for the third time in this trip, this road delivered. So our seven day journey has come to an end, <clears throat> we had a great morning, it's always a privilege to spend any time in the best place on earth. If you like this video, you know what to do. Thank you for watching.